sailing in a smog-free heaven, a hawk making lazy circles in the sky. But watch sharp, Brer Hawk. Today, your sun-filled horizon is crowded with the men of many industries. A whole nation is sharing your bird's eye view of one growing state, flexing the muscles of its great future. Oklahoma has plenty of water for now and for years to come. Water for recreation, irrigation, homes, and industry. Future development includes an Arkansas basin rivaling the Missouri and Ohio valleys with navigation through to the Mississippi bringing seaport commerce to Oklahoma's doorstep. Tall against the prairies stand the world's largest grain elevators, storing a wealth of golden grain. Great mines rend the very depths of the earth to bring forth rich payloads of 16 of the world's 20 most important minerals. Oklahoma's industrial tomorrow is limitless as modern manufacturing plants expand throughout the state. Building that glorious future are the nation's finest people. Builders impatient to make the most of every opportunity, eager to tell of the phenomenal growth that has become their trademark. Oklahoma, birthplace of the Flying Farmers of America, the national home of the Junior Chamber of Commerce, and an up-and-coming younger generation, some blessed with both brains and beauty. Blessed also with the nation's leading Big Red football team, Home of an author who won two Pulitzer Prizes and the productive University Press with a shelf full of well-known works by Oklahomans. Native land of the world's best-loved humorist who proudly claimed that his ancestors may not have come over on the Mayflower, but they sure met the boat. Guests from older states are inevitably amazed at the freshly laundered look of every Oklahoma community they seldom realize they are seeing a state barely 50 years old. At the turn of the century, it was a land of virgin forests, where buffalo roamed amidst pines, cottonwoods, and tall blackjack oaks festooned with mistletoe. Rich bottomlands edged its winding rivers. And to the west, tufted prairies stretched beyond the horizon. The men who crossed its borders were the pioneer stock of the nation. Sturdy farmers from New England and the plantations of the South. Lumbermen from the forests of the Northwest. From Texas came cowboys tired of singing midnight lullabies to another man's cattle. From a thousand crowded cities came those skilled in every craft. And at their side stood the pioneer women with their inexhaustible supply of courage, and common sense. They found a land with a highly developed culture of its own, home of 67 Indian tribes, including the five civilized nations. Their proud descendants are well-recognized statesmen, scientists, teachers, and leaders of every trade and profession. They can be seen at any of the 15 annual Indian fairs and expositions throughout the state, where tourists watch them pay homage to their ancestors in tribal dress. It is a heritage highly prized and proudly preserved, but the backward glance is fleeting. The eyes of Oklahomans are on the future. Oklahoma-originated Brangus cattle are a far cry from the Longhorns that crowded the Chisholm Trail. Prize Brangus, worth thousands of dollars, are a successful cross between India's heat-resistant Brahmins and the heavy black Angus which thrive on blue stem pastures. Oklahoma is a heaven for Herefords and also for a bumper crop of prize-winning youngsters, the nation's second largest membership in the future Farmers of America. But prize beef is not the only bonanza. Oklahoma dairy herds produce 150 million pounds of milk for fine dairy products. A $10 million hog income proves once again that pigs is pigs, and very important. Busy packing plants thrive on prime Oklahoma livestock of every variety. Old timers remember the days when morning skies were darkened by flights of wild turkeys to native pecan groves. 
Now they see the carefully cultivated descendants of those trees which provide 40% of the nation's cultivated sweet meated paper shell pecans. Yesterday's game birds bear little resemblance to the broad-breasted beauties that today provide 12 million turkey dinners annually. The modern farmer's wife keeps her egg money in a flourishing bank account. She has to. Oklahoma hens produce 74 million eggs a month. $120 million ripening wheat for the bread baskets of the world. The statewide sorghum crop yields more millions in syrup, cereal, and fodder. The corn that's as high as an elephant's eye brings an income that reaches clear into the sky. Sweet roasting ears, feed, and sugar corn. Equally important is the country cousin, broom corn. Oklahoma's broom corn literally sweeps the nation. First in national production figures, first in the homemaker's kitchen. This peppy popcorn is Oklahoma produced and processed and it's popped from Persia to Paraguay. With popcorn, you just gotta have Oklahoma peanuts. The 37 million pound crop is put to a multitude of uses. A 45 million dollar cotton crop comes from such carefully selected seedlings, culled and cultivated from seed to maturity. Many a long row has been hoed since pioneer days when a mule and a cotton patch meant real wealth. Carefully ginned and baled, it is on its way to the nation's manufacturers. Included are Oklahoma's own mills, one of which turns out 30,000 sheets and pillowcases a day. Small industry also profits from the agricultural jackpot. A housewife's homemade blouses expanded into a quarter million annual payroll. Another Oklahoma manufacturer tells a two quart to 10 gallon success story about Western hats. From 10 million acres of constantly reseeded forests, the lumber industry provides a wide variety of valued woods. Tall, straight pines for building purposes. Tough, durable hickory for instrument handles. Fine-grained hardwoods and cedars for finishings, floorings, and furniture. In less than a lifetime, thickets of wild plum have given way to fine truck gardens and orchards, bountiful acres of fresh vegetables, fine fruits, and melons of every variety. Sometimes the path from producer to consumer is very brief indeed. Truly, Oklahoma agriculture presents a portrait of progress, a three-quarter billion dollar annual portrait but it is only one picture in the album. On an April morning in 1897, Oklahoma reached down to pull on seven league boots. The first commercial oil well brought forth its black gold. Descendants of those first crude rigs were to march to the very doors of the state capitol. A wildcat gave birth to a $10 billion baby now grown into huge refineries, cracking plants, and associated industries. The Oil and Gas Journal, Bible of the Oil Industry, is published in Oklahoma and carries the story of oil to 73 nations. The list of byproducts is endless. Gasoline to power the wheels of commerce. Manufactured asphalt, so abundantly produced that Oklahoma's reserves of natural asphalt, the world's largest, have barely been touched and oil's research chemists and scientists discover new uses daily. The International Petroleum Exposition, the world's largest industrial show, brings distinguished executives, scientists, and students from 43 nations to study the advanced skills and procedures displayed. The most advanced equipment for exploration, producing, and refining is shown in operation. On side trips, they visit plants and management in buildings as modern as their products. 
each visitor carries back to his native land a generous share of the oil know-how that gave Oklahoma magic boots for her future. But oil was not to be her only underground wealth. Glowing smelters process lead, zinc, cadmium, germanium, and a host of other vital minerals. Limitless gypsum deposits are the foundation for vast sheetrock industries. Internationally known companies ship wallboard to a home-hungry world. Cement manufacturers produce fine concretes for highways, pipes, and building uses. A single Portland cement plant ships over two and one-half million barrels of that quality cement each year. Oklahoma's fine granite is shipped to stonemasons all over the country. Brick and tile are made from local clays by companies in 12 plants throughout the state. Still finer clays are highly glazed to produce prize-winning potteries. Frequent deposits of high silica sand, limestone, and dolomite support wide manufacturing of glass products. Washed to snowy purity, the sand is destined for one of Oklahoma's 17 major glass industries. At intense heat, the sand liquefies to the clarity of water and then is carried in red-hot chunks to the molds. The finished products may emerge as fruit jars, highly perfected plate, optical, or auto glass. Oklahoma manufactures a high percentage of all auto glass used in both North and South America. But no portrait of progress can be painted without the tools of electric power and transportation. Abundant and dependable electricity at low industrial rates is available anywhere from these electric transmission lines blanketing the state. Great modern steam electric generating plants produce each kilowatt hour of electricity at the lowest cost. Constantly expanding electric generating facilities sends surging strength to industry. One plant's $40 million expansion signals the pace. At huge man-made lakes, majestic dams harness the latent power of water. One of the most outstanding is Pensacola Dam, the world's longest multiple arch concrete span. Furnaces of the future will be well fed. 60,000 miles of pipeline within Oklahoma draw from a 12 trillion cubic foot gas reserve. Oklahoma also has a 50 billion ton coal reserve, more than half of which is available through low cost surface mining. Meanwhile, here at the crossroads of America, 6,000 miles of rails within the state carry Oklahoma materials to manufacturers and on to national markets. Oklahoma's flying climate is attested to by America's largest airline which chose this centralized location as best in the nation for the tremendous maintenance depot and operation center of its coast-to-coast -coast system. The wide open spaces come closer each year as 325 Class A truck lines use an 8,000-mile Oklahoma network of state and national highways. Clear, usable the year-around highways include an ever-increasing program of time-saving turnpikes. Thus, the rails, the roads, and the very skies above hum with activity. But highways are not for industry alone. Highways are happy ways when they lead to homes and holidays. The quarreling quarters of crowded cities have no place in this land of space, sun, and sweeping horizons. Oklahoma is a state of homeowners, proud of their attractive, well-built homes in carefully planned additions. The beautiful Oklahoma redbud blooms impartially by castle or by cottage. The annual dogwood tours attract thousands each spring. Every homeowner enjoys the glory of planting in land he can hold in his hand and in his heart. Once Dad gets the garden weeded, he may be taking Junior to the well-supervised Pee Wee League baseball game. 
the smaller fry will enjoy the many nearby playgrounds. In neighborhood shopping centers or in downtown stores, there is merchandise from around the globe. And mother and daughter love to look it over. But one pioneer tradition is still going strong. The old timer's advice, if you need help, just holler, still holds. It takes good neighbors to open debt-free a two and a half million dollar youth project. Community cooperation makes modern miracles as Oklahoma churches lift praying spires to God. Sundays and throughout the week, at each house of worship, the stranger is welcomed. The sorrowful comforted, the child instructed both in prayer and play. The Ten Commandments are used not for a design alone, but as a design for living. Medical centers of science and mercy make modern health techniques available to all. The city centers are friends to many. Equally vital are the hundreds of smaller hospitals giving up-to-the-minute service throughout the state. The forward look is obvious as tomorrow's citizens get the best from advanced grade school facilities to 17 senior colleges and state universities offering degrees in every art and science. The $40 million Stillwater campus is one of the world's finest agricultural and mechanical colleges. Numerous trade schools and branch colleges offer 34 trades and occupations on a learning by doing basis. The University of Tulsa enrolls students from 21 foreign nations in its famous petroleum engineering courses. Oklahoma museums draw millions of fascinated visitors. The Will Rogers Memorial on Highway 66 is a tourist must. Philbrook, once a private mansion, now houses an internationally famous collection of Renaissance, Indian, and modern art. History lives at the Gilcrease Foundation, donated by Thomas Gilcrease, an outstanding oil executive of Indian birth. His collection of southwestern arts from the days of Coronado to today is considered the finest in its field. Music lovers find their choice among year-round symphony orchestras. The Tulsa Philharmonic under the direction of the renowned H. Arthur Brown and the Oklahoma City Orchestra have both achieved national fame. Fine opera productions import both metropolitan and European stars. Comparing gardens is always enchanting, especially when acres of flowers delight each visitor. The range of plant growth in Oklahoma amazes horticulturalists who estimate that three-fourths of the entire world's seeds can be grown in this single state. Golf games go on around the calendar as golfers enjoy the sunny days that grace every month of the year. This course is the scene of the 1958 National Open Tournament of the United States Golf Association. Golfers on private and public courses alike take advantage of Oklahoma's year-round golfing climate. Verdant forests shelter deer, turkey, quail, pheasant, and a wide variety of wild game. Much of Oklahoma's recreational time is spent enjoying her endless miles of blue lakes. Fishing is fun for young and old, but especially at the many derbies for pint-sized anglers. Some of the catches would do credit to old Isaac Walton himself. And nobody loses when every contestant wins free hot dogs and pop. Someday Junior will be taking his place beside Dad who knows all the best spots. Boating enthusiasts find blue skies and blue waters irresistible. Sailboat racers take advantage of brisk breezes along a 60 mile lake. Speedboats spank the waves as they skim along, guaranteeing good times for all. Hi, gals. Having fun? Yachts, many with overnight accommodations, cut the waves with easy dignity. But whatever the choice, from canoe to cruiser, each delivers delightful vacation hours. Swimmers coax golden tans from April to October. 
Lake Texoma alone welcomes more visitors annually than either Yellowstone or the Washington Monument. Luxurious private summer homes nestle among tall pines and oaks, sharing miles of shady shoreline with beautiful public facilities. Overnight lodges are busy the year around. To satisfy the popular demand, an increasing number of beautifully planned public lodges are in process at many of the greater lakes. Economical outdoor living is a year-round reality with spacious backyards and with public parks, lakes, and campsites within an hour's drive. Fifty-two weekends to invest in family health and happiness. Weekends well spent. Come Monday, Oklahomans are back on the job. They play well, work well. Their absentee record is but a fraction of the national average. Their pioneer background has taught them that a day's wages demand a day's work. Oklahoma's time loss due to labor difficulties is far less than half the nation's average. New automatic farming methods constantly release younger generations to form one of the best educated quality labor pools in the country, headed by engineers, scientists, and skilled workers in every field. No wonder in industry's trend to the southwest, industrialists of vision are focusing increasingly on Oklahoma's portrait of progress. Industry, homegrown and still growing, has already proved the benefits of a highly favorable tax structure where for 15 years every change has favored the manufacturer. Oklahoma, a tax-free port, is one of the few states to reduce taxes since World War II. Manufacturers are also exempt from sales and use taxes. Industry of every type is beginning to recognize Oklahoma's picture of success. A major jet aircraft manufacturer is justly proud of its $65 million plant and its 12,000 skilled workers with the lowest turnover rate in the entire aircraft industry. From a huge government helicopter base at Fort Sill, Whirlybirds share the cloud-free blue with planes from Tinker Field, the nation's largest air materiel depot. The Navy also chose Oklahoma for a tremendous ammunition and supply depot. From fiery open hearths and furnaces, the molten metal pours forth for a thousand uses. Those who mold, cast, and fabricate the products of the steel industry have realized Oklahoma's many opportunities. Those neon-lighted angle worms are really red-hot reinforcing rods. There is steel for manufacturing, for construction, for farm, oil field, and industry. Oklahoma's climate, both weather-wise and tax-wise, have brought in nationally known garment mills, some making strong, long-lasting gloves used around the globe. Others spin frothy dreams in fine-fashioned silks and nylons, chosen by meticulous buyers everywhere. A famous hosiery company obviously enjoys still another local benefit, excellent homegrown equipment for display purposes. Skilled labor and a wealth of glass and mineral resources encourage electronic manufacturing in Oklahoma. The same skilled labor pool is profitable to makers of precision instruments and the Oklahoma invented, manufactured, and all too familiar parking meter. A rubber company known worldwide has located its major plant in Oklahoma to take advantage of state bonus in labor and location. Manufacturers of fertilizers to feed the fields of every nation profit from Oklahoma's economical supply of power and raw materials. Oklahoma's famous research laboratories constantly develop new processes and procedures. Testing everything from huge bits which drill through solid granite to microscopic materials measured by invisible impulses. New found facts available to industry throughout the world. Expansion and decentralization finds manufacturers moving to Oklahoma from every part of our nation. Won't you, too, come to enjoy the famous hospitality of the Sooner State and see a portrait of progress painted in every color of the rainbow?
And at the end of the rainbow, you'll find... Oklahoma, Oklahoma, Oklahoma.